Hi everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampinCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Welcome to another tutorial. So glad that you're with me today. Um, today I wanted to feature another one of our celebration projects or products. So I am going to flip you all down and show you what we're going to be looking at today. All right. All right, we'll get you situated, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so today I was going to focus on the Simply Marvelous 6x6 Designer Series paper in the Celebration Catalog. Love this, there's six different colors. Let me show you, oh, if you can hear that, those are just our tornado siren practices. Um, so we have these gorgeous paper, papers. I love these, they look like, you know, kind of like folded satin. On one side, these are all the colors. And then on the other side, it has more of a marble look. So each one uh, has like a couple colors in it. So we're gonna start with this one. This has Misty Moonlight and Balmy Blue. Then we have a Basic Gray and Smoky Slate. That would also, the ghost also goes really pretty with black and white. And then we have um, ooh, Costa Cabana and Pool Party. Also goes nice with Bermuda Bay. Then we have Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather. This one is Bumblebee and So Saffron. And this is Flirty Flamingo and Brushing, Blushing Bride. <laughs> I always have a hard time saying Blushing Bride. I wanna call it Brushing Bride, which it could be, but you know, not, not really. All right, so today I was, I'm gonna do a, um, Valentine card today. Now we did these in our workshops um, this month. So if you've been to one of my workshops, you've already done this. Uh, but on Saturday, I'm going to do uh, an anniversary card and then we might do an engagement type card. So I'm going to pair this with the, I have this out, um, Love and Happiness Bundle. I love this one. Um, the It has a hybrid embossing folder plus some dies. And then this is all sentiments. So if you look at the sentiments, it has several for uh, uh, Valentine's. It has several for wedding. It has several for an anniversary. It has some engagement. Um, so it's got a ton of different sentiments. It has some nice bigger ones, some little ones. So very, very versatile. All right, so we're going to go with the Blushing Bride. Since we're gonna, going to be doing um, Valentine's, I'm gonna do the pink one. We'll use some of the others later. All right, so I have a piece of basic white we're gonna do for the inside. Then I have two more pieces of basic white. I have, oh, those are all the same size. They should not all be the same size, let me look. I have all three the same size. Hold on a second. One should be a little bit smaller. Hmm. Let's see, is this one a little smaller? Yeah, there we go. Don't know what happened there. You know, sometimes that happens. <laughs> I just have the wrong thing in the wrong spot. Okay. So uh, the inside is four and a quarter or four by five and a quarter. Then we have a panel that's four by five and a quarter for the outside. And then we have one that's slightly smaller and this is three and three quarters by five. All right, so we're going to take this one and we're going to use, oh, I forgot my, my die cutting embossing machine. All right, we're gonna see if we can do this with the big shot because I left my other one downstairs. Ah! I'm not, it's been a rough week, so I'm not gonna lie, a little out of it today. All right, so in this embossing folder, it's got a floral pattern all over, but it's got this heart right here. So during classes, I made everybody emboss and then die cut separately, but we're gonna try die cutting um, with using the hybrid today. So we open it up, the part that says Stampin' Up is the top, but there's this little heart, um, kind of 
you know, etched out of here and the die can fit right, it just fits right in, just perfectly. So I'm gonna take the slightly smaller piece, we're gonna center it and I'll have to make sure that it's straight. I want to, you know what, I'm gonna line this up with my line on my grid paper, if you can see that. I want my heart a little higher on the cardstock, so I'm going to put it further down towards the bottom, not all the way the edge because there's a little kind of a, a solid lip and I don't want that. So I am going to just center that right there, close it up. And I can see here that it's centered pretty well on either side. So that's what it's gonna look like. All right, let me, let me grab my machine. I don't, my die cutting machine is downstairs and I really meant to um, bring that up before I started. All right, I'm gonna bring up my nice well-used Big Shot. And this is a thick embossing folder. I'm gonna try it first with my, my magnetic platform and one, one on there and see if I can get it. Yep, it goes through. All right, very tight, but it goes through. Okay. Oh. Look how well used that is. That's <laughs> such a mess. But it still works. A little messy in there, but it still works. Okay, so we open it up and I can get that perfectly lined up, but that's okay. And look, isn't that cool? I love it. It die cuts and um, embosses at the same time. Love, love, love it. Okay, so next we are going to layer this on, but I wanna add my little piece of marbled paper underneath. This is the, that reminds me of I Love Lucy. I used to have the heart with the, with the um, marbled, um, marble, the satin on it. Do you guys remember that? I don't know, that's what it reminds me of. Okay, let's, Double check this before I put it down. So I'm just going to adhere that to the solid white one, this, the bigger one. And then we're going to put our embossed piece on top. A little on there. It's sticky, okay. And lay that down right there. Okay. Now I have a little piece of the white glittered ribbon. Now I know right now this is out of stock, but it should be back in just um, a couple of weeks. So we're just going to tape this down. And you could use any white ribbon or if you have some blushing bride ribbon, um, Anything. I like the glitter because it goes with, with everything and it just adds a little extra sparkle to our project. Okay, I didn't cut that very big. All right, I'm just taping that around nice and tight. Then we're going to adhere this to the front of our Blushing Bride cardstock. All right. I know I'm all over the place today. Okay, isn't that beautiful? So, so pretty. So I've already it die cut a little uh, extra heart and that's in the die set using the rose gold and gold paper, specialty metallic paper out of the annual catalog, which goes perfectly with this project. So you gotta have you know, a little extra sparkle. It's Valentine's Day, right? So I'm just going to put that one right there. And then the die set also has a couple of labels. It has this larger one and then a smaller one. So I'm gonna use the larger one and we are going to stamp Valentine Greetings in, whoops, in the Blushing Bride. So you wanna make sure that this is inked up pretty well. So because it is a light ink, I'm just gonna stamp there. Uh, you wanna make sure it's, it's nice and um, re-inked so that 
it shows up well. If it's a little bit dry, it might be too light. All right, we'll go ahead and stamp it inside. Now I'm going, we have um, several sentiments for Valentine's. We have um, to the one I love. So if you're giving that to your spouse, you can do Happy Valentine's Day friend. But I'm going to send this to one of my kids so and their husband or significant other. So I'm going to do to the cutest couple ever. Isn't that perfect? Happy Valentine's Day to the cutest couple ever. All right. Let's make sure. I always like to stamp it there to make sure I have it pretty straight. Cute. All right. Let's flip this over and adhere this to the inside so nothing happens to it sitting here on my desk. All right, let's pop our Valentine greeting up. Grab a couple of dimensionals. You really don't need more than two. I think that should be fine. I'm just going to pop it up right on the ribbon. I don't normally pop things up on the ribbon, but this is a very light label. So it is not, you know, it's not going to shake around or anything. All right, so last step, we have some of our iridescent gems. I am obsessed with these because they just go with everything. All right, mm, do I know where my paper piercer is? I do not. I do not know where it is. It is in a project somewhere, my pick tool. So we'll just grab my scissors and see if I can use those. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna hear a few rhinestones. So I'm gonna do a large. Let's see if we can get a medium up. There it is. We'll do a medium. Whoops, it stuck to my finger. A medium. And we'll get a small one. just stick that one kind of right up there and that is it now you have a leftover heart so you can save this heart use it on a tag or another project or what we have been doing this month is just adding it so it's like an extra little surprise inside the card when they open it I just stick it right inside on the left isn't that cute the cutest couple ever love this Okay, well, if you would like the measurements and all the supplies, click the link below for my blog. And um, this month, you still have a few days left in January to place an order online. The link is below using the host code. And when you do, for $50 or more, you can earn this marvelous paper for free. And I will send you a free embellishment in the mail. All right, thanks everybody, and I will see you back on Saturday. Bye-bye.